Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a missing part of the design from another video that I created on creating accounts for other users. But first, please subscribe to my channel if you like this content and give me a thumbs up. Okay, for the demo here, I've got this user, Sam, and this is the first time Sam has been logging into this app here. So I'm going to type in a password. And since this is the first time that Sam is logging in, it's asking for a new account password. So I'll do the existing password, then verify new password. And then you see that the account has been successfully updated. And then Sam is logged in. And now if I log out, Sam is my user and I will type in the password and then Sam is logged in. So let me go over here to the design for this. And basically we have this group, uh, login group, and we have an input field here uh, for the uh, email and then another field here for the password. And if you're not familiar, uh, let me just quickly go and show you the input fields for these. And I'm just going to do that right there. So input for email. And then similarly for doing password. And that's basically that field. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's really changed there. It should not be empty. So click that button there and visible on page load. Similarly, for the input, uh, should not be empty for password here. And then I have this login button. And for the login button, I have some conditionals on here. So basically, on this one, it's when the login button is pushed, I have this conditional or this only when, only when the current user is logged out and the current user's first login is yes. So when that condition is met, this workflow will go and execute. And the first thing it does is uh, log in the, the user. So that takes the input uh, for the username and the password, and then stay logged in so that the user will stay logged in and remember the email. So this makes it convenient setting it up this way for the next time that the logger, uh, the user logs in that they will, the app will remember the username uh, information. And then I reset the group login. So basically those input fields will get reset. And then here I've got this pop-up. So when the current user's first login is yes, this pop-up will open. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But just to show you here, so this, this when button here So basically all I'm doing is only when current user, let's move this around, is logged out. So is logged out, is towards the bottom, is logged out. And current user First login, so this is one of the data fields I'll get to in a moment. First login is yes. Okay, so that's how we set up this only when. So the user has to be uh, logged out and the first login value is set to yes. And then we come to the login user. So under account, log the user in. And then the input field for the username, value, and then similarly the input field for the passwords, value. And then staying logged in and remember email. So that's all we have to do for that step. Reset the group login. So under element actions, reset data. So under group, reset data. And then the group is login down here. So that's how we set up that step. And then lastly, for the pop-up, 
element actions. And then we go down to show element and then the pop-up. So you could type in pop-up and it is first time password right here. And then for the only when, so current users, first time log again is yes. So that's all you have to do for setting up this workflow. Now, after the user has gone in for the first time and updated their password, uh, we want to make sure that uh, we have it so that the first uh, time, the first login is set to no. The reason being is that we don't want that pop-up to open again so that they go, let me go back to here and show you this pop-up first time. We don't want this pop-up showing every time that they, uh, they log in. So this is why in this workflow, which is also the button login, we have this conditional uh, current user's first login is no, as compared to this one here where it is set up to yes. And then it just similarly logs the user in, uh, resets the group, um, and then I have this set up to go to different pages. And if you see the other video um, on this, then you can see what where the pages go for students and teachers. Um, but just to cover the, the login for this one, I won't go into detail in this video. One thing I want to show here for the data. So under users, I have this user Sam. And there is this data field, first time login. So the two values are yes and no. And so if I switch this back to yes, so that'll be the first time that Sam would log in. Let's save that. Come back over here, do a refresh. I'm not going to save the password. And when I log in, we're going to get that pop up again. And there you have it. So basically, uh, again, this is an uh, appendum to the other video to show how to handle this pop-up when the user logs in for the first time, and this forces them to change their password. If you like this video, again, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.